and welcome Hi. to the Curfew. This is Difficult Gaming Difficult. Podcast. Why do you have Curfew? The I know, right? show it's where we don't talk about this while we're live. Oh, hi. Hey, Gaming Dojo's here. Hello. Hello. Script. Stick to the cue card. Uh, we yeah, talk it's... about video games and other I things, but mostly just video games. This. Oh, is this the video Playing game this... one? Shit. This is the video game <laughs> podcast, not the, not the social commentary pants. podcast. I thought this was the sewing podcast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus. Lordy. Jeez. <sighs> What's up, guys? I was just How was everyone that? this week? <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm really, they put me on an extra shift. At yeah. first they were like, you could pick it up. And then they're like, so we need you to pick that up. And at first I was like, okay, whatever. And then I'm like, it's like $24 an hour with overtime. So I'm like, that's pretty nice. And now I'm tired as fuck. I'm like, I don't know if it was worth the money. I'm dead. Yeah. That's whack, man. That's I'm crazy. Sleepy. Sorry. <laughs> you get, you get some, some much needed time off this coming week though, right? I know I'm getting four days and I actually heard a rumor I don't know if I should even say this live, actually, but I don't think it matters, right? No one like legally binds the okay. So like they <laughs> each business has been given like a certain amount of money to a lot for when people have COVID or are sick or in some way during this time, mm -hmm. right? That yeah. money has to be given back to the government afterwards if you don't spend it. So they're literally giving people weeks off. And so like everyone's going in a row now. And I'm coming up soon, I hope, getting a paid week off. That's cool. Oh, that'd be so sick. Like kind of to, to bonus us and also because he just has to give it back. Otherwise, can I yeah. say this? Yeah. Probably. I don't see why not. I don't yeah, see why that'd no be one a problem. talk to my boss. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> He's like, I'll just tune into a random Twitch channel. But if I get a week mm -hmm. off, we'll get a 24-hour stream. So that'd be really awesome. Very oh, nice. Very I've been nice. waiting for that. Yeah. It's a um, 24-hour stream. Let me host eat. Yeah, do host it. Eat do it. Do it. Do it. Did you guys play video games this week? What Ooh, video did games I? did you play? Paul, did you I? misspelled compatibility <laughs> and Damn it. COVID. You misspelled the fucking disease that we're all under. It's like misspelling Hitler. Guys, you shouldn't have me spell. <laughs> you did the whole thing. We, we had no control. Hold on. Work tool. We should be someone for this. Who's our producer? Who can we, yeah, who's our guy? Call my agent. Come on. Come on. Why am I watching a 30 minute guys. commercial for our podcast? Are you subbed? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's why. <laughs> it's $5, though. What did I, I spell it. wrong? Corvid? COVID. Oh, Kovic. How'd that happen? And then also compatibility. <sighs> Update. Fixed. Uh, two Cs, though. It actually. has been resolved. You put two Cs in compatibility. Good. How? <laughs> no, I just updated. I just updated. Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, okay, I just okay. updated. We'll get to it. We'll find out the truth soon. No, I, wait. <laughs> oh no, I totally spelled it wrong. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You spelled it wrong. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh, oh lord. god. Oh lord. This is difficult, though. You know, this yeah, is really, really difficult. To, to the, to the, the hype. Dude. He lives up to the yeah. The name is really accurate. Wow. I'm <laughs> Which, honestly, oh, wow. I, it was a joke of a name actually originally, and it was like, well, uh, yeah. <laughs> and it was like, wow, this really actually works pretty well. Yeah, this works great for the. Uh, that is that is how it got named for the real. difficulty level. Oh, okay, I fixed it. I think. What do you think? <laughs> Let's talk about video games, guys. It is the only word that's not capitalized, though. Oh, compatibility. Cock anyway, sucking. it's fine as long as you can sleep at night. <laughs> I'm fine with it. Let's go. Okay. Video <laughs> games. Yeah. So I kept playing uh, Star Fox Adventures. Oh yeah. It was a little going? longer than I thought. Um, really amazing game overall. Me and Paul were talking about a rating system for it. I do think that there are some setbacks that are significant enough to take some points off the total. Um, namely, you were right, Colin. The uh, some quick time events. That felt a little extraneous, like literally the first person shooting for about 20 minutes in the last chapter. Oh. Um, it's weird. Anyway, lots of weird things. Overall, I give the game, I think it's closer to a 9, maybe 8.5. Paul thinks it's like an 8. But well, I do so think it's not a perfect game, although it is I, definitely I just a good up, play. I just pulled up Metacritic. And, oh, that's right. and yeah, yeah, yeah. so like the average Metacritic score is an 82, which means that, you know, it's it's like a low 8. Um yeah. And the average user score was a seven point five. Yeah. I think. I think. 
I think so, another big fallback, and there are a lot of sweet mechanical uh, pluses with the game, but something big is like, you know how in Zelda, it like gives you all the elements for a puzzle and you're like, cool, like I have the things, the tools to figure this out, but I just don't know what to do yet. You know what I mean? This is like, there's no, no way to know what the fuck you're supposed to do. And then you just got to like figure it out. Like literally there's like one part where you have to like zoom oh in on something very far away. And I'm like, that doesn't make any fucking sense. There's there, no prompt or any idea. Anyway, you fixed it. Yes. But anyway, so I overall, totally yeah. spelled it wrong like eight times. Unless I was uh, playing a lot of Animal Crossing just to soothe my soul. I just copied yeah. copied it from Mike's notes because I'm illiterate. <laughs> yeah, you did good. You did good oh, jeez. I don't know. That's it for me. I always punch into Google. I mean, Star Fox looked fun, right? It but I, I really, think it suffered yeah. from a couple of things. Yeah. Um, I think it suffered from identity. Because it was originally supposed to be a different I personally game, and think they kind of when you play it, you really feel like you're in a Star Fox game. I get like from the outside, I, but when I, I'm in it, from I feel watching like I'm it, it Fox. feels yeah. I don't know. There's some things. I get what about, you're saying. Though. The whole yeah. dinosaur planet thing. If it was the same Pretty game random. and it was more like Star Fox universe style characters, yeah. it would it would make more sense. The dinosaur planet stuff feels just yeah. very removed from what Star Fox is I all about. I agree. It should have been like an animal people planet like where like Zelda, everyone right? was different. It is very yeah. Zelda-y and like there are some really redeeming qualities about the game that like most aspects of the game are like 10 out of 10. Honestly, the soundtrack I think is one of David Wise's strongest. When I found out it was him, like I'm yeah. like carefully listening to all of it now. He's like really nailing it. It's his like uh it's his like uh, uncut diamonds for Adam Sandler. You know, it's like his serious movie, like his serious game where like his yeah. sounds are actually yeah. really awesome and like very natural. Yeah. And it feels really good on like Diddy Kong Racing, which is amazing, but for a different reason. Um, yeah. On top of that, like the movement is great. Like a mm -hmm. lot of the gameplay is really good. And the menu is one of yeah. my favorites ever where I'm just really like flipping through it while I'm moving. Um, but then, yeah, it does suffer in just some random ways where you're just like, uh A lot really of the random, puzzles weird. are very... Yeah. Like, yeah, very far out. We were just like, fuck am really I supposed to do? Not like, very intuitive at all. You know, not intuitive. And that's the thing. It's one thing to be difficult, and it's another thing to like not understand like there's no perceivable way. Right. Like like I was saying with like the, you gotta zoom in on something very far away. And I'm like, what Well, just that super simple puzzle with the rocks, uh, where you yeah, had to put them into so the into the crater. Like it's a really simple thing to do, but very there's simple. zero indication example. at all yeah. that that's what you need to do. Zero it's like, indication. Cool. I have these vents and I have these rocks. It seems obvious, right? Yeah. But I try to do it and it doesn't work. And then like it turns out that's what you had to do all along, but you have to do yeah. it a very specific way. And I'm just like, ah, yeah. that's very frustrating. Very unintuitive. Yeah. 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 So so they really try with the Zelda aspect, but they kind of miss the mark slightly. I would say it was a great effort. Overall, the game is a fantastic must play. I Dude, you know what I think we should change the really name great. or like the intro to? Like, What's welcome to this is this difficult podcast, the show where we basically just talk about Zelda the entire time. Yeah, we really do like <laughs> we talk that. Talk about Zelda a lot. And that's, in my opinion, the biggest redeeming quality uh, of Star Fox Adventures is that it does feel yeah. like that amazing A RPG. Yeah. Or yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That might be my favorite like genre overall. I think. I love like more I think RPGs. about it. Yeah. Action RPG is just like because it is it gives you a little of everything. You still mm -hmm. platform a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. So but like that style where you don't jump is really my favorite. I feel mm -hmm. like like the whole Zelda, Star Fox, and there's a few other games I'm sure that fit that mold. Where like like I don't know what it is about removing the jumping out of that platforming and that like exploration aspect. It adds a whole nother layer of gameplay. And I think it's just so cool. Yeah. Like it makes Zelda a platformer into a strategy game because you take out jumping. Like mm -hmm. it's just so cool. I think yeah. that's great. That's why I think Breath of the Wild kind of that was another thing I actually really didn't like about Breath and Skyward Sword. Actually, I really didn't the, like jumping. The, the movement and controls in those games are not what bothers me at all about the games. I, I, the, I don't the have controls a don't bother you about Skyward Sword. Oh really? well, the, <laughs> the controls the controls weird. a little whack. Exactly. The jump the jumping doesn't bother me. Um, in Breath of the Wild, the jump is opposite the uh, other button, the parachute. So you have to like. Well, jump, now jump, you can jump. remap that on your Switch. That's very true. Actually, that's yeah. huge. That, that is, is much huge. welcome. That's very welcome. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I, know, I don't know, but yeah, I but know there are other things. I think there's plenty of well. ARPGs that do have jumping that are just fine. I don't think it's necessarily the jumping, though. I do see how. A lot of good puzzles can be made from something exactly. like that. Exactly. Yeah. Um, That's my big thing is like you open a world of possibilities to where like, oh, hey, look, there's an area over there. Sweet, I jump and then I'm over there. Yeah. Versus 
how the fuck do I get over there? I have to crawl down yeah. this ladder and like cross a law and like do this really strategic. Let me thing give you an example of the opposite though. I'm playing through um, Trials of Mana right now, which is Great. a remake of the third Secret of Mana game. Um, yes. And the original is like top down uh, 2D ARPG, right? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, the remake is 3D and they added jumping. Mm. And there's actually some really cool, like, there's not necessarily like jump puzzles per se, but there's some levels that are like platforming. And there's like some secrets and chests and stuff that you can't get to without your jump. And it yeah. adds an element to the game that um, that yeah. the original didn't have. That's a lot of fun. I do so. think there's cool ways to do that. Like it also Link's helps Awakening. in combat, too. Yeah. Ooh, Link's Awakening is a great example of this also to where, like, let's take a link to the past where it is that all on the floor strategy puzzle. And you add the rock's feather to mm -hmm. Link's Awakening. Yeah. Um, even if they were the same game, it just adds that awesome, like you're saying, like added puzzle mm -hmm. to some games. It can really add a lot, in fact. Yeah. But also taking it away can add a lot too. So it yeah, really it depends. really just depends the on the what totally the depends. the intention of the game designer. Yeah. Is, Actually, Link's know. Awakening is maybe the best example of that because it allows both. It allows mm -hmm. like many puzzles that force you not to jump and then allows puzzles that encourage you to jump as well. Yeah. That's that game really is just cool. great in general. That I game is just, yeah, no, it makes me want to play it right now. <laughs> oh, it's a masterpiece. <laughs> it's just, it right is a now. masterpiece. Colin, 10 did, out of you, 10. did you play Flawless. anything this week? No. Oh, God, this is awkward. I played no. uh, Terraria. Terraria. Yeah, he, did, he does or like Terraria. Do that. When did we play Ocarina yeah. of Time last week? Mm. Yeah. Blah, blah, that was really blah. good. We skipped this week. So yeah, I pretty much just played Trials of Mana this week, except for I did play a little bit. I played like the first level of Hyrule Warriors. On I know, the, how fun. Uh, the Wii U. Yeah, that game is so much fun. It's not like, I mean, it's a Warriors game, right? So, like, yeah. it's it's kind of the same as all of the, you know, um, Dynasty Warriors, Samurai yeah. Warriors, that kind of fun stuff. Part um, of it is, like, seeing the new moves and stuff. Like, and I feel like once I run through all the characters, I'm like, hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Link over and over again. Opponent is badass, though. Yeah. Woo! I didn't know Pono was in it. That's Dude, cool. everything. You like, can be the great fairy. Everything's in it. You can be the great fairy. You can be like Minna. It you can be Toon Lane. You out. can be Tingle. You can no. be uh, Milan. You can be. Dude, it's no joke. You can be literally. It's called you like can Link be, and uh, his bitches, Tetra. right? Link and his bitch. You can be Tetra. <laughs> you can be everybody, dude. That's what I heard. You can be um, these other hot anime girls that are now added yeah. to, like Lana yeah. and other yeah. titted whatever. <laughs> it's a super fun like, game, though. Like, it and honestly, really in some time, ways, yeah. I feel like it's more of a Zelda game than than Breath, uh, than Breath of the Wild. Yeah, because you get like the key items and yeah, so on and so forth. Yeah, you open a chest, and you're like, sweet, a hook shot or yeah. whatever. Like yeah. cool, the moon from Majora's Mask. Like, yeah, and you can even you reference. can even change That's the cool. the control scheme Nuts. to a Zelda style control scheme instead yeah. of. Um, like the warrior style control yeah. scheme, so it's it's a is fun this, game. Is it for yeah. Switch or is it just for yeah? It's, the I, Switch they, the they remade it on the Switch or like you know okay. through a remaster on the Switch. But, again, but yeah, I, thing, I already owned it on the Wii U. So a big thing for me was that it could be not split screen co op on the Wii U because your buddy and I did this. Your buddy could play on the game pad while you play on the TV mm -hmm. and not be split screen. So now what is it? Is it just not co op at all? It's probably just not it co-op might, now. Yeah, I don't know. Um, well, you yeah, might be able to link your system. Yeah. What's up? Whenever what you said? did co-op, it was only 30 frames per second. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it was worse for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's not the worst in a game like that. But you I'd don't rather need, like, play crazy with frames. someone. Yeah, yeah no, you just like though. smashing people. There's apparently 31 characters in that game. That's insane. That's yeah, yeah. It, it, initially there were like 20, and then yeah. they kept going and going and going. I'm excited about Nintendo releasing some of their stuff more like this. You know, I want to see more of. Like, I agree. I think it's cool when we do fun crossovers. Like uh, Cadence of Hyrule is another good example that I, I heard that's super, a really good. I one. didn't super. I didn't super. Maybe and I got. I can't. Isn't there also the a Zelda mode? in that though like because yes. i know that there's there's the movement mode that's like the original which is the the weird rhythmic yes. stuff yeah. but you can and also change it to zelda. a zelda style yeah. mode here's my opinion on this game it's definitely for a certain type of person um i find i found it to, like i understood why it was a good game but i also didn't quite vibe with it it wasn't really my type of game i tried to do it on um like cadence mode or whatever and i was like okay i'm trying to like play it like the game is intended and to me it felt like i really just wanted to play a zelda game yeah. i was like oh man it's just like kind of making me play a different kind of yeah. game so Although i guess it was the, a great crossover amazing homage to zelda and while keeping sure. the original aspect for but. sure 
I guess the Hyrule Warriors co-op is split screen, which is just like all the other Warriors game co-ops. Uh, but like, again, you could have your own yeah. screen if you were sure. on Wii U. Maybe, yeah. I don't know, maybe you can connect. Like, maybe someone could have their Switch, and then you could link up with another Switch. Another Switch? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know cool. how that would work. That would be cool. If I mean, you can do link play with... If with, it just recognized it as a controller, then yeah. Yeah, I don't think it, it like, would do that. But but you can do link play in a million games, you know? Oh, just link play even. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, like online whatever so it is but a really I fun time i don't know if yeah. that's possible in that game that's something game i just made up fun. so but we one of my favorite modes in show. that game yeah. one of my favorite modes that just made me nut 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 was uh <laughs> the ganon mode when you're literally beast ganon and you're just like you know what yeah. i'm talking about i, I yeah. haven't played it um oh, or played so, the ganon so, mode there's so a sad. million different modes in that game too there's yeah. some really cool modes that's that's what sets it apart from other uh, warrior style games is not only yeah. is like it does some very unique Zelda stuff, but it also has a ton of modes, like really fun, different kinds yeah, of modes that, that you don't find in other warrior style games. Different awesome maps with different mm -hmm. like yeah. like things to unlock and goals on. Like you can just play through the story, but then there's a ton of other side things, mm -hmm. like an insane amount of DLC that was just freely added into the game. Yeah, it really yeah. is honestly a great game, especially if you do like the Warriors games. I've I always think it been might a fan. Be the like yeah. I, it's if I if I just need to go kill one million enemies, you know. Yeah. Like if I just want to have some mindless, like I'm gonna go plow through a bunch of like yeah. enemies, then then that's a really fun. Side My only thing is, I would say it is the best Dynasty Warriors game, except for if some people prefer a more realistic take. Like some people want to slaughter hordes, like yeah, like look like they're actually like a warrior. Sure. sure. Hero. So they Personally, made, I think the they Zelda made one the for Berserk, one. the the anime series Berserk. Oof, they made a so like a warrior insane. style. Berserk, and I think that would be absolutely dope. That'd probably be M rated as fuck. Oh yeah, my God. Oh, I'm We're sure. Just like yeah. Slaughtering. I haven't played it, and yeah, Gundam Warriors as well. There's some. There's some other cool crossovers, but like, Gundam oh, they also cool did one, a. Yeah. They did a Dragon Quest one too. Uh, um, I would like to see a Mario one. Yeah, I'm not even gonna lie. I think that'd be really fun. <laughs> like Goombas, hordes of Goombas would and be Koopa. Fun. Yeah. Right, that'd be just really fun. And Mario's yeah. like giant fireball and shit like that. And your Bowser <laughs> just like spinning around the field and like. It'd Dude, be sick. That would Peach be just fun. like, ha ha, like throws like turnips at everyone. Yeah. <laughs> or, That's or, so uh, funny. I would really enjoy Oh that. my God. You guys want to talk about news? <laughs> What's Here news, everybody? Yeah, let's do it. So um, Microsoft doubled down on their backwards compatibility. What? Um, <laughs> essentially, uh -huh. uh, older games are now going to be, uh, have the have the ability uh -huh. to use uh, HDR. As well as like doubled frame rates up to 120 Either? frames per second. That's pretty cool. It um, seems like something I don't understand. And that's yeah. going to be running natively <laughs> on the system. So that's like that's ah. pretty huge, especially if if PlayStation doesn't deliver good backwards compatibility, which they kind of like. The rumor was that they were going to have full backwards compatibility going all the way back. Now it really doesn't sound like that's going to happen. See, Wait, so how far know? back like, is the Xbox I trying to go? To buy, like, uh, so PS5. technically, all the way back, because I I believe you can you can play any 360 games and um and Xbox One games. Um, but then they like the whole catalog of original Xbox games, uh, or most of the catalog of Xbox One games was was um made available a while ago too on xbox one so i think it's literally all of xbox whoa with with some caveats there's some I'd, games that aren't compatible but it's PS it's a smaller list than you know? than you would yeah i mean i agree with it. colin like the playstation is just so to me uh old xbox games are like as good as coasters like they're, yeah, they're terrible they're landfill games there's no point in backwards compatibility for an xbox because you're gonna get the exact same game again so, you know what I mean? Like, whatever. PlayStation has some really incredible games back deep like into Ape its Escape. one, two, and three. Yeah. Yes, like the Ape Escape. The Onimusha <laughs> games. Oh, I was thinking yeah. all of Final Fantasy. The, the, the Final HD Fantasy HD catalog, yeah. the Onimusha yeah. games. There um, are a lot of really good games for the PlayStation The Kengo catalog. series. Yeah. The Apparently, Way of the, the Samurai why, though, series. The reason yeah. why they're having issues with original God of War. PS backwards compatibility. The God of War games, yeah. Yeah. Although I feel like they could just emulate it, but like the reason why they have issues. It, yeah. yeah, the no. reason I mean they probably could now with the latest technology. Like, how like, did the eShop work? Was that streaming or was that emulation? So emulation. Like reason, oh, yeah, yeah. So the reason why though they're having issues is because it's using different chip and like yeah, completely different like 
you know like it's completely different like, yeah but so was xbox are you sure about that because it was still like microsoft and still like running a pc right, a right, windows right, machine right. You know? yeah just, actually you might be right yeah because oh, wow. all, all the x point yeah i remember people used to turn their original xboxes into just gaming pcs exactly yeah wow, that's really? true that's yeah that was one of the original, yeah, like hacks for Xbox was just turning it into a one PC. One of the original uses was yeah. just upgrading it because yeah. it was like half It was so tech powerful from... the time. Yeah. It was so good. Yeah. It was like, sense. oh, this is incredible. And now PC. it's like, and again, a large coaster. Yeah. <laughs> so this I don't next get bit Xbox, of news. Xbox, such a disheartened company. I can't imagine being a huge Xbox fan. Like, it's just like such a shit company. I really don't get it. I kind of agree. I hate, like I, I hate I don't, them as so a company. I don't. I don't hate <laughs> them. Like, I, but I mean, they do some good things. But like overall, they're not a genuine. Like look at just principle and like loyalty to the fans. Nintendo versus Microsoft. It's like vomit inducing how the difference is. Like yeah. Nintendo gives a shit. Right. Bottom line. I agree. And Microsoft Nintendo is, like, is is su- superior uh, by far when it comes to like keeping true to its fan base. Yeah. Um, Xbox like. I enjoyed my Xbox 360 a lot, but I can't think of any games that were like yeah. exclusive to Xbox that I was just like really gung ho about. You can't be and like, that's oh, really cool. Gears always of War. been the case. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, some people like, really yeah. love Gears of War. I know Zach yeah. in the chat really loves you Gears get, of War. Is that an but, Xbox exclusive? Yeah. Uh, well, exactly. it's on PC yeah. now, but yeah. So it's like who gives a shit? Yeah. Those are better. That's the thing. Like to me, Xbox is like nothing a PC can't do. I don't. I can't think of one game. What's Correct me if I'm everything, wrong. Everything works now on the. PC everything works sure. on PC, and like PlayStation at least has some exclusives and some like kind of different stuff. And you can get a VR if you don't want to get it for the PC. Yeah. And like Nintendo. Well, PlayStation has for the last like generation and a half had by far better exclusives. Yeah. You know? No, they've really been um, coming out with some good stuff, and there was like a dry period, but now I think they yeah. stand apart. Yeah, Microsoft's sure. the only company that's not like trying to do anything integral. There's like we are just making video games. Buy yeah. them. That's yeah. like literally the the company. I'm like, yeah. okay, I don't really want to buy from you, you pieces of shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're disgusting. Interesting. Like, I'm just gonna get a computer. <laughs> yeah. Um in our next bit of news, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles remaster, which is coming out on the 27th of August. That's 10 days after my birthday. I'm very excited about That's it. That's exactly a month after uh, Paper Mario. Oh, wait, uh, and 10 days. Yeah, a month and 10 days, yeah. Okay. My birthday is a month after Paper Mario. Um, That's awesome. It's going to be cross-platform. So what? Not only, not only does it you have save that juicy some, of, for just some of the best <laughs> co-op ever really don't play the game unless you're playing it co-op to be yeah, honest think, yeah that's my experience <laughs> so i got the game when i was 12 and i fucking was like oh i don't know how to play games <laughs> like that was actually my first final fantasy game oh no i even isn't that insane because yeah. my friend was like you got to get into final fantasy it's like the best series ever he played yeah. them all and i was like okay i have a gamecube so i had n64 and a gamecube at the time that's it yeah. And I was like, not the best Crystal setup Kong. for Final yeah, Fantasy. Yeah, and that was the first one Nintendo released. So your friends that that you made play you play uh, yeah. Crystal or made you play Final Fantasy didn't come and play Crystal Chronicles with you. That's the thing. You have like, bad friends, like, dude. Yeah, I have bad friends. Yeah, <laughs> dude, bad. Crystal Chronicles was so good. Yeah, but uh, again, the caveat is that you have to, to you have to play it um multi. And yes, well, now, it's going to be cross platform. We have to play that together. Yes, we do. It's only yeah, coming out as far as I well, it's coming out on uh, PlayStation, Wait. Switch, um, iOS, and Android. So it's not even going to be on PC. Like PC, what the fuck? But get it on the Switch, dude. It's going to oh, be. I awesome. think it's probably because it was probably p- promised to be on the Switch because of a, being a GameCube, GameCube title initially. Yeah. So they were probably like, uh, "How do we put this on the PC? It's a Switch game." Like, the, yeah. the, I feel like those are the two most distant hardwares. Is like PC yeah. and Switch. Because like Switch is a ga- like kids game console, and like the PC of. is a man's hardware, and like some of <laughs> no, I bet I'm, like the game might not just be suited to cross Switch over. Switch is yet. for little babies, yeah. and PC is for men. But I guess if right, Fortnite yeah. can be on your phone and your Switch and your PC yeah. and your Xbox and your PS5 at the same time yeah. or whatever, but. I say that we 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 play it together on stream. I think that's out. actually I think it'll be now so that you're saying fun. it's cross platform. So should each of us get it on a different console PC? 
I, well, it's not coming out on PC, but you can okay, get it on the Switch Switches, or the PlayStation then, yeah. or your iPhone or Android, which I wouldn't recommend right. iPhone or Android. Switch it is. I'll get I'll on the get Switch. On yeah, I'm getting on the Switch for sure. Shit, also, <laughs> it'll be fun on the Switch because it's easy to to play couch co-op with your friends. You can just pop yeah. off them little bitches and be the like... The controllers come right yeah. off. <laughs> Here's a controller, bro. Thanks, yeah. man. Oh, it's drifting. Oh, the fun is ruined. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Double like take, take it again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> roll, roll footage again. Sorry. That's so funny. But yes, yeah, that exact example. That's what's yeah, going to happen. That. Oh, I guess only one controller works. I guess I'll just play by myself. Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> We're setting Josh up for trauma again with, with uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. He's going to relive his childhood. And, yeah. Okay, uh, but my next game is a really fun one. Speaking of Joy Cons, I'm going to be playing WarioWare. I'm so excited to experience motion controls at their finest. I'm going to unroll toilet paper like a champ. I totally zoned out. What did you say? WarioWare? I said WarioWare is my next game, so I'm really excited to get back Wait, into like motion controls. Are you playing just playing that again? About. Are you just you're, you're, you're No, he played yet. he played Wario, Wario World. World. Yeah. Yeah. Wario the difference? Wear Wear the is a, it's the ADD quintessential AD, ADD game. You've never like, played a uh, WarioWare game? Colin? Are you serious, dude? Yeah. So How is this possible? Fucking, oh, oh my god. god, they're so it's much fun. The party game, I think they're better than Mario Parties in a lot of ways. They're Why? not in some ways. They're not in some ways. The but originals weren't even party like they were single player. I didn't even know that they were player. multi. You can pass the controller. Yeah. Oh, my buddies gotcha. used to oh, we yeah. Literally yeah. Just like, yeah, that'd be fun yeah, for couch co-op. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I always played it on the like Game Boy Advance. So. Um, but I think this the one on the Wii is is the best one. Just it just like really hit a point with like controls and creativity. It was the bigger, it was the first like home console WarioWare. Mm -hmm. So I believe. Um and so it yeah. um and I think there's one on the Wii U, but that was the first home console one, so it was really big. It's lots of lots of extra mini games. Basically, the principle is you're playing three second mini games like over and over and over again, and they're all extremely creative and different. And just really yeah, fun. they're super fun. Really fun. Some are really silly. Some are just like snippets Nothing, of yeah. classic games. Some are yeah. just like you have to like pick Wario's nose. Yeah, some like, are like get the finger <laughs> in the nose. And you're like, oh, you did it. Next game, and you're like, okay, cool. Unroll the toilet paper. Okay, you did it. Fucking drink a glass of water. Go. Like put the, put the N64 cartridge in the thing. I'm like, ah, I did it. That's nope. funny. It's really fun and the nintendo based ones there's like a whole section in this one for like paul saying like retro nintendo for like themed ones that they're so awesome it's really fun like you like the one of the boss fights is you have to fly in the snes star fox ship and like kill andros or something like that yeah, yeah there's just some really, like really great fun really great yeah. stuff um another thing that i'm excited about we were talking about action rpgs and how much we love <laughs> paul them. in the chat <laughs> Uh, uh yeah, a I do new love RPGs. Dragon Quest RPGs. <laughs> action <laughs> RPG is coming to consoles oh, next year. Action RPG Dragon Quest. Action RPG Dragon Quest. It's the first oh. ARPG Dragon Quest version of the because yeah, it's been turn based and it's been JRPG. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it's never been an ARPG. It's got a weird name. It's called Infinity Strash. S T R A S H. I didn't yes. spell that wrong. That's a word I use Infinities every day. Infinity Trash. Trash. Infinity's Dragon Trash. Quest <laughs> Adventures of Die. And what uh, the fuck? That's not the real title. Like, that's come the on. Real title. Here's the trailer. Did they I'm going to put it, I'm put it in horribly? chat. How brutally? Actually, did they you know what? I'll just that. play it behind us. They couldn't get um, an American version of that title. It's clearly not the American version of the title. <laughs> like, yeah, I really don't. It's clearly think that's like our Japanese translation. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Fun time, anime, go, ha ha, dragon, we go, wah! <laughs> 64. That's so funny. Hold on. Oh, that's loud. Hold on. Let me oh, roll this ah, da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm going to play it behind us in one second. I got to find my... Oh, yes. There dragon we go. Post. Here we go. Um, Josh's head's going to block most of the uh, trailer. Okay, and so. I'm going to turn this down because so. it's super loud. Are you guys going to disappear? Um, but yeah, it looks super fun. Um, it looks like a Zelda slash mana like with an old school anime style. That's so if you look at like that character design, well, uh, Akira, uh, Akira Toriyama did all the design for um, for the oh, Dragon the Quest series, movie. which is uh, the it's same same trailer, dude though. that yeah, it's a Japanese trailer. So it's probably the, not the official name. Yeah, they're probably gonna change it. Yeah. I call it uh, Dragon Quest Switch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, he's uh, Akira Toriyama is the guy who you know did Dragon Ball Z and he did all the the um the this is level five. It's what level five? The the uh, the developer. The I didn't yeah. I didn't see. It looks a lot like Nino Kuni. 
Well, uh, Nino Kuni is also. What? Wait, no, no, no. Nino Kuni's not Akira Kuros or uh, Toriyama. Nino Kuni won. Nino Kuni is uh, in the style of Studio Ghibli. Ghibli. Well, yeah. they actually had consultants from Ghibli working on the first one. The second oh, one was nice. completely removed. Wait, you didn't like the first Nino Kuni, Colin, or the second? He doesn't, Nino he doesn't like okay, like the first Nino Kuni Pokemon like, style. Oh, dude, dude, that was so annoying. So the way you collect shit like took forever, and like you got like chance at getting what you wanted. Like you had a thing, you're like, okay, he's here. Now I have to charm this thing, and then pray to the gods, the RNG gods, that I actually got this thing. Because you had that girl, right? Okay. To like charm it, whatever, just to, like collect uh, it. Oh. oh, you're talking about catching them. So yeah. it's like so catching you just a catch Pokemon. any ones you yeah. want. You don't have to catch any like if you if you're grinding for specific ones. Like when you get into the deep game. Then yeah, but like late game, it becomes easier to grind them, honestly. And you're just like, oh, I know exactly where to have go. Have you never I played have... a Pokemon game or like uh, yeah, like dude, Dragon that's Quest? Thing. Colin might Dragon not Quest, be into that. Uh, monsters on Pokemon, or anything like you that. have like no, I have, I have. But like on Pokemon, you just throw a fucking Master Ball, and you're like, that's you know, you done. only get one. So the, master the only ball. way to catch uh, a partner in Nino Kuni was to lure it with the female character who had basically like. She was like a siren almost. Yeah, that's like, how Dragon Quest uh, monsters but is. But so, if she wasn't like, equipped yeah. and you didn't, you had to like swap into her, and it was like, I get yeah. what he's saying. Like it was kind of annoying. It was like uh, ah, I'm already like having trouble like figuring out how to the control. Yeah, but and... you can swap in fight. It was like did, re- in my opinion, it's really seamless. I don't know. I love that game a lot. Did you? Did so either of you guys play yeah. Dragon Quest monsters? I just didn't. No, care I didn't play a lot of old Dragon Quest. I didn't care okay, about the story Boys, either. Though. I was like, ah, his mom died. I don't care. Uh, uh, Wow, Colin's heartless. Right, we're done. We're done. Yeah. Jesus <laughs> no. Lord. I, I love Nino Kuni. Okay, we don't That's even That's so know funny. Let's talk about some rumors and upcoming announcements, guys. Um, nah, who cares? Star Wars Maverick is a new game rumored to be announced this next Sounds week. Sounds like you fly a ship. This week coming, Star Wars Maverick. How many ships We don't do really fly? know anything about it at the moment. Maverick, though. But it, it sounds like you, you fly Starfighters. It could be the Mel Gibson movie. Maybe you're a gambler. Wait, so it's just a title of a thing? Oh. Yeah, that's all we it's know right a, now. It, we don't know, so it could be a game. It could be a show. No, it's a game. It's a game for it's sure. A game. Um, it sounds like a sim- I would bet money that it's a uh, a flight simulator. I hope. But that'd, that'd be, be really awesome. cool. And it's something that we've only gotten snippets of in certain yeah. games, like Battlefront. That's, kinda... that's, part of my, that's literally my favorite part about Battlefront 2 is the yeah. space combat, and they, like, yeah. abandoned it. We it's crazy. We need that VR also. Like, really? if they that make like a... a they I need to it. make a fucking simulate a space simulator where you're like a pilot in Star Wars scenarios and stuff Italy like that. Elite Dangerous and in VR. Elite Dangerous. That. That's a, that's already a game. That already came out. What is it? Elite yeah, but it's Dangerous? not Star Wars. Yeah, how many X wings are in that exactly? Well, I mean, like, okay, it doesn't have that, but like, apparently, it's like the. Yeah, can I fly a Tie Advanced? Like, I, no, I don't know, guys. Uh, but, I haven't played it. Apparently, it's yeah. like the game though to play. Like, How it's many the most like can you hit in your Elite team? Dangerous most, is way more in depth than than it's super in depth. Yeah, like, it's, it's like literally like flying a real spaceship. It's like oh, they wow. have to do this, they have to do this, they have to do this, and it's like all these buttons and like controls and like it sounds raw. Yeah. It, it's yeah. like well, both it, both it Everspace like and um, what's the uh, what's the super super expensive one that's never actually going to come out. Um, mm. Uh, Star Citizen, Star Citizen are both no, like yeah. you literally have to 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 man a starship. <laughs> so, have you guys played? Have you guys played um, uh, Sea nope. of Thieves at all? Oh, I've seen no. it all. Though. So on Sea of Thieves, you have to literally like control like your your sails and everything like that. Mm. Um, and it's it's fairly basic because it's an old school ship, whatever. Star Citizen's like that only times one million because it's a spaceship and you've got to control all the engines, the turrets. Like you have yeah. to have a, a fully manned crew oh, for your big. Sick. It's crazy, but that game's a scam, unfortunately. So oh, why? you have to pay thousands mean? and thousands of dollars to to like even get a decent ship. And like the game's never actually going to come out. It's a whole dude. There's oh, there's annoying. so many oh, videos you can watch on it. I yeah. actually have played it because my old uh partner kind of um when i was with uh husky entertainment um sunk countless dollars <laughs> into that game and so he had us all playing it um it's it's kind of cool but it's it's never going to be fully realized and it's very poorly optimized too like uh, very poorly optimized so um but the concept's really neat um anyway sound worth thousands of star dollars. wars maverick 
we don't know anything about it other than it's going to be announced this next week. Yeah. So okay. Another of, yeah. Another uh, real interesting tidbit. This was a rumor, but it was then confirmed. Um, the PS5 official announcement stream is going to be this week on the fourth at four p.m. Eastern time. Hmm. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Yes. Well, so so we didn't already get an official launch. I'm so confused. No, there's not been a um. Yeah, Thursday, June fourth. There's not been no. They've they've. We haven't seen anything. All we've seen is the controller for the PS5. Is that right? It yeah. just feels like it already came out. <laughs> <laughs> all the leaks or anything or all like the preemptive stuff? But it's all getting rumors, this in like two man. months. We're like, getting this in like two months, right? Uh, really? It's literally would, June tomorrow. Tomorrow's June, so. Yeah. Well, no, it's not. So Isn't that nuts? Tomorrow's June, yes. Uh, the announcement is on the 4th. The <laughs> new consoles probably aren't coming out until November would be yeah. my guess. Um, like holiday time, so that makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. I don't know. A summer launch isn't a bad idea, though. Like this is like for a game. Everyone console? is fucking locked down, dude. They need to get ahead of this. But you know, here's the thing: they haven't. They, there's been no ramp up. It's literally we've been running off a of rumor. Paper Mario, for a year. no ramp up. It's the same as Paper Mario. It's a whole <laughs> video game console. <laughs> I can't think of any difference between the two. Okay. <laughs> Paper Mario is a whole ass video they game console. You're right. Okay, good. We agree. That's no, okay. No, you're hilarious. right. It's probably going to be the holiday. Yeah. Although there's like no holidays. So I don't even know. Yeah, holidays. Jesus is over. Jesus is dead. Well, yeah. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Okay. Uh, and then our final little rumor <laughs> okay. is that Sega is teasing a massive, this is in quotes, a massive announcement that will rile up the gaming industry. They're going to drop a console. <sighs> That's what a lot of people think, but that doesn't really Handheld. make sense for them. Handheld. Why not? Maybe. Maybe. But they're going to they're going to get bought by Nintendo or something like really cool like that maybe. Um another kind of like uh tangential like that. thing that's been going on with Sega is they've recently revived a lot of their older mascots. Like so Sonic again. I was about to say, their announcement could very well be like just another fucking movie. I wonder if like, because the movie did so well that they have money now to throw around. They're like, we could, you know, make another console. Maybe. I, I, get I just think making another cast, console would be... They're getting too. a little big for their britches, I think, after the Sonic thing. I'm like, calm down. You had a very, very near miss with the movie. <laughs> like, you're lucky that this shit did well. Yeah, okay. really well. So what they learned, what they learned that like because <laughs> of like how bad it was and originally, like it became a meme, and they're gonna do that again. They'd be like a really shitty looking like you know controller yeah. to like Sonic's face. Why would they do that? A lot that of people think that it. Sense. I know this isn't true, but a lot of people even think this was the whole thing was a publicity stunt. I know it's not true. It was like some kind of like work issue, but. <clears throat> A lot of people say because it's like so genius to like make such a shitty. I mean, it costs thing. Them millions of dollars. To I know, read. I know, it's not the case, yeah, but it yeah, is yeah. really like if you think about it, it worked in that way. It became a massive meme. the The public literally wanted it to be fixed, so their attention was on it. And then when it became fixed, everyone was like, "Oh my god, this actually might be good. I will probably see it now." And then the people that did were like, "You know what? It wasn't that bad, I guess." And I, I didn't, didn't see it. it but I, I actually, I actually might now. Like yeah, I wasn't same. really gonna see it before, but now I'm like, actually, like, fuck it. It's probably gonna be on Disney Plus or something soon, whatever. So, like, <laughs> yeah, I, it's like it's so weird. Sonic like on like, Disney Plus, you, you think? Like I don't know who owns that shit, but so Sega I mean, owns you know, it. Sega owns. Sega. Oh, no, no, who owns? Well, the, who, like, who owns the movie? Who, who produced it? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, Sonic Disney 2, Plus. the movie, was announced are you this last kidding week. Kidding me, as well. right, Nick? Wait, wait, wait yeah. we just talked are you about this. Kidding me? Why are they doing sequels? Because it was so successful. It's the most successful video game movie ever. Period. Isn't that ridiculous to that you? Really Paramount to Pictures. What about okay, Mario? Paramount. Mario was doo doo. Oh my god! Are you kidding? So it's a cult awful. classic at best. It's a cult classic at best. It's, even the it's people only that good like it because it's so bad. bad. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like I love that movie. You guys have cell phones, right? <laughs> um, no, but like, did you hear about how bad that movie was, though? Like, literally, a, a couple, like a married couple, wrote the script, and like one of the actors developed a drinking problem, and then broke his arm halfway through filming, and then you see, you can see a cast in like parts of the scenes because they couldn't hide it well enough. Oh my this. lord. It was, so, it was like a disaster. That's crazy. Yeah. That is crazy. 
Like the actors hated themselves for being in the movie. Wait, what movie again? <laughs> Mario. Oh, Mario. I thought we were talking about the other movie. What was the other movie we were talking about? Sonic. Sonic. Oh, yes. <laughs> wow. Sega. <laughs> so Mario, yeah, the, the actors, um, like I'm pretty sure the guy who did Mario said he does not, he like wanted to take it off his resume and like his online profile or not yeah, his online. That but was he, the same he guy to, who he, played... he wanted to no longer be known for that movie. Like he was like really like sad about that role. He was like, well, I don't yeah, want I'm sure it was like, oh, it's was like, Mario. Dude, How can it go wrong? And then it was like, oh. it, that yeah, was the same like, guy who played Mr. Smee in, in, um, in, in Hook. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, What's really? his name? Really yeah. Cool. What is his name? I can't think Smee? of it right now. Yeah. If you think about it, though, like Mario was like the Charles biggest Martinet? video game no. at the time. Charles Martinet. And so, damn, why didn't they just have Charles Martinet? Oh, wait, because Mario 64 <laughs> hadn't been a thing yet. Right. Did it? No, I think out? so. It definitely yeah. was not a thing yet. That game or that movie came out in like '92. So that's what I was saying. It would have influenced it. It would have influenced it because then when it had like, it was like, like pre. The, pre all I know is it came out when I still lived in Colorado, which was early '90s. I, I think we moved to where I'm at now in um in '94. So '93. So okay, it yeah, came 93. out. Um, Came out after Super Mario World and Yoshi's Island. No, not Yoshi's Island. Super Mario World. So, yeah, Mario was pretty big at the time. I think yeah. it was like probably a smart move to do that. But that's kind of when Nintendo was like, yeah, we're not doing that anymore. And then they tried with a few cartoons and they're like, ooh, these all suck. Oh, backfire. This I think the only cartoon that did really well, you might be able to guess, is no one? I guess the only Nintendo cartoon that did Donkey like really <laughs> it did really bad. It was Kirby right back at you? It actually was huge. Oh, yeah. yeah, Kirby be like blew up Saturday morning cartoons. Yeah, it was Kirby was, was Kirby, not a Kirby, Kirby, not a Kirby, Kirby. Kirby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I only watched it like randomly when I was just passing by. I was like, it's still a really kiddie show. Like even more kiddie than the games. I thought I was like, okay, it's like you know My Little Pony status. Like it's cutesy, but um, it was it was actually did really well ratings wise. It did well. Donkey Kong, terrible. It was like a musical with like the worst yeah, animation ever. So good. So and then of course Mario Bros was like the most hilarious meme show ever. And then Legend of Zelda show is like why why the the voice actor who did Link should just like kill himself. What's the what did you, what did you say? Like, excuse me, me princess. Catchphrase. Yeah, it's an awesome meme though. I could eat an Octorok. Yeah. We did have <laughs> one community did, suggestion this week. Yeah, um, say that. Blitzcon, uh, Blizzcon, rather Blizzard's Blizzcon. convention. It was canceled due to oh, the COVID. When was it? And this was submitted by RPD. Um, I don't know when it's supposed to be. Probably never because I don't really it. care that much about yeah, I don't um, care. Blizzard, Blizzard anymore. So they've 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 really gone downhill in the last it's couple years in particular, too. especially Aren't they killing it though, like financially. Like they no, made, like, well, they're more doing money. fine. They're they doing made more money on mobile than they made across all their games combined, or something yeah. ridiculous like that. I don't know if it's that. Yeah, Is it but they're not like the biggest game ever, or something like that. No, no, I'm just saying like mobile did really well for them, and like everyone hated yeah. that they went to mobile. You know, yeah, what they do on mobile, but also they they've oh, just Diablo. not been they've been pretty not pro consumer ever since. Uh, well, with the last within the last Too couple years, yeah, well, I think a lot thing. of it has to do with Activision, unfortunately. Um, uh, dying, but uh, <laughs> dying, no, Activision and Blizzard are are partners, so Ugh, it's a um, toxic relationship, I think so. And yeah. and Activision technically owns most of blizzard if not all of blizzard um and so there's a lot of weird yeah so i just think that they've gone downhill as a company um i think you know adam has a connection um there that he he gets information from every now and again and i think there is still some some good people there and there there are good things that they're working on but for the most part I don't really like what they've been putting out and and kind of like the their public yeah. face um over the, the last couple of years. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I feel like they did all start with Overwatch though. We're like they this was the biggest announcement ever to come out of to come out of their company, you know, since like World of Warcraft basically, and it blew everyone away. It was like finally something so different and so amazing. And then they started doing like World of Warcraft movie. They started doing like the mobile shit. They started doing everything. Because I they actually, they had I actually the liked power. the Warcraft movie. I really, I didn't see it. it. I'm not saying I'm not <laughs> saying it was bad. It. I didn't see it, but like yeah. it feels like a target almost, like targeting their yeah. like without thinking. There's like we just need to do a World of Warcraft. It wasn't movie. the best Go. movie ever, but it was also still kind of dope. So. Okay. <laughs> my friend, my friend I, didn't like it. Then, he yeah. plays World of Warcraft, so he thought it was like, mm. yeah. 
I don't like I World of Warcraft. Someone, so I think that's whatever. the thing. If you really are obsessed and really close to something, like if they come out yeah. with a Zelda movie, no matter what, it's probably not going to be a, a good movie to me or like a fantastic. Won't be a perfect movie to me for sure. Like when out the live action one or something like that. Stop. That's no, the rumor. I, really don't I thought think it was that's... a Netflix show. Yeah. What the fuck? No. no! <laughs> it could be really awesome, dude. Chill no, out. No, it can't. It can. <laughs> it can be. And okay. it will. Uh, Look at The Witcher, dude. Happened? Look at The Witcher. The Witcher's yeah, a the dope Witcher show. The Witcher is easy. The Witcher is okay. easy. Magic. It's medieval. Uh, the the first is very cut and dry. Of the Legend of Zelda Fox. series will apparently follow the events of the video game yeah. Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. What? Read it one more time. Okay. <laughs> the first season of the Legend of Zelda series will apparently follow the events of the video game The Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Are you joking? Stop. Please tell me you just made that up. I, I don't know. So it's literally they're going to take my it's, favorite parts oh, it's animated? of the entire series. Yeah. And they're going to take all of our favorite parts of the entire series. It's not all of our just, favorite parts. Let's just Majora's, get back. Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask aren't the best parts of all of Zelda. I don't necessarily agree. But right, you're... Oh, wait. Maybe it is live action. I yeah, know. I thought it was live action. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is great. Why am I having an aneurysm? Because I'm literally being told that my favorite thing in the world is going to be destroyed. No, oh, and even The Witcher, like as good as The Witcher was, there were. Oh, I don't like that it's from the parts. Castlevania producer. Okay, I just see. I just saw this link that Chamali posted. If it's from the Castlevania producer, I'm not happy with that. I actually did not like, like the Castlevania stuff. show. What? I thought it was good for what it was. <sighs> it was it. extremely okay. The first two seasons were fine. They were like, like they were okay to watch. They did enough good fan service, but the writing is fucking terrible. The animation is extremely mediocre. And then the third one is just a fucking joke. The third season is the worst animated show not the worst, maybe. I don't know. It's one of the worst animated shows. I don't so know. Live I don't action know. with that director. Okay, here's my thing. Even The Witcher, The Witcher is a good show for sure. I'm not really? arguing this point. I'm I not arguing. The point. Okay, let me. Then I'm going to touch upon what Colin is saying now. Okay. I did think it was a good show with a lot of drawbacks. That I'm like, how did people not think this was stupid and weird? Like, Yennefer is the weirdest fucking character ever, and I felt really uncomfortable watching a lot of her scenes. And I'm just like, I do not like or vibe with this character at all. I think she's weird as shit, and I don't understand why she's on the show for the first six episodes, and then all of a sudden she's really, she's really, hot. really big like, character like, in, okay, the, in the book. Okay, she's really hot. Movie, and my buddy explained games. all this to me how this is yeah. like the he said this is like the Hobbit of The Witcher. He's yeah. like, this story is like kind of what the Hobbit is to Lord of yeah. the Rings for The Witcher. I was like, okay, I get that. It's like everyone's origin story. But there's just some glaring like weirdness with like the animations. And I'm like, just don't put that in if it's gonna like look weird. And just like so many weird things within the uh Dude, just in the land the itself. Chat. What is he saying? So we know that it's even if it's a good old. show that Josh oh, yeah. won't like it. Just Dude, like it's gonna hurt. It hurts <laughs> just like Paper Mario. Um, no, that's not true. <laughs> it's different when it's a game. I'm kidding. Dude. I'm you kidding. I'm kidding. Good. I don't want to drudge Dude, that up. We did, hey, we, we do have, we're running late when we do have one more topic. Um, uh, is it about Zelda's like all No, this is a pretty broad <laughs> topic. So, <laughs> so it, I, I like this one. Inside. So here's, here's the top, the topic. Uh, the past, present, and future of DLC. <gasps> Zelda? Oh, past, present, future. Christ. DLC. Colin gets the reference. Yeah, sure. Past, present, future. Of course so, I do. Of course I do. <laughs> like, like, what What do you guys DLC, think of, yeah. like, DLC is a bunch of garbage. Yeah, it's like, it, it would never need to happen. Never need to. I understand it wanting to fix up your game, take an extra year to, to launch it, and then never touch it again. Bottom let's, line. Let's break it more a little, break it down a little more than that. So, like, like when DLC first came out, what was it? It was like map packs. It, it was like was an like, add-on. Yeah, like, like a small, small add-ons, add little yeah. cosmetic things, map packs. Oh, cool. I got like, a new character. You know, That's things nice. like that. Yeah. Um did tend towards microtransactions. Uh yeah. Then there it, were slews of things like, oh, 50 characters and 30 outfits and yeah. things, and like I don't know. It, it really, that. it really snowballed into focusing more on microtransactions and and things like that. Um Though I, I will say that th the model of an expansion for a game moved from basically buying, an, like, let's take Diablo 2, for instance. The expansions for that, you bought a physical disc. It, so it wasn't really like DLC. You bought a physical disc, and it was like an entire another campaign for that game. Yeah. Um, And that's kind of how 
uh, uh, expansions transitioned, they kind of transitioned more into microtransactions or or like DLC, you know, rather than being like a uh, like a physical add on to a game. Um, yeah, definitely moved away from that model. Um, loot boxes popped up Disgusting. and they're still kind of a thing, but because of, you know, a lot of legal issues in, in a lot of different countries, they're kind of starting to fade out, which I actually yeah. think is good. Um, yeah. currently most microtransactions or you're rather, uh, DLC, you're seeing larger expansions come back. Um, you're seeing things like season passes and battle passes, which are like a replacement for the loot boxes, right? So rather than having like a randomized box, you buy this battle pass and as you gain experience through a game, you unlock access to these little goodies here and there. Um, do you it's think nice that, do you think it's going to continue like that? Like what's the future of DLC? Oh Yeah. I think the future of DLC is even less initial content. So like a good example is like the new Pokemon game, Sword and Shield came, it has two DLC packs coming out mm -hmm. that are story DLCs and specifically yeah. adding new features for co-op as well. Mm -hmm. So to me, that's a, sh that's a kick in the gut. Cause I really wanted a lot also of these features. Also more Pokemon. Also more, I will, yeah, but I want it. And including that, let's just clump that in. I wanted a lot of these features in the initial game. And to me, it feels like, you're just going to like throw more story at me like eight months later, like literally no joke, eight to 10 months after the game comes out, you're now expecting me to buy what should have been in the original game. Like more story is almost unfair. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think that the original game is pretty flushed out. Uh, it I, is, but that's what I'm saying. Like why then? Like it, maybe we don't need. So, these well, then. here's, here's, here's another way to look at that. So traditionally with Pokemon games, you've had, you know, you're red and blue, and then you get your yellow. You know, you got your gold and silver, then you get your platinum or whatever, That's true crystal, too, actually, yeah. right? So in I think this generation, instead of releasing a third game, they're just releasing the content that would be in the third game into the original games at a lower price point than having to buy an entire third game. But this way, everyone does buy it. Instead of just being like, mm -hmm. oh, you can buy the third game if you want. Now, if you want to just actually finish your story on no matter what game you're on, you have to buy it. But like, no, I see what you're saying. That's why it's a hard line to ride because like, <clears throat> but don't forget this wasn't, that was also announced like only a few months after the game came out, which was the shitty part too. I was just like, okay, they clearly were like planning DLC like immediately. Eight months. Well, no, the game came out last October. Yeah. And they announced and it, it in the DLC comes out in June. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's all I mean is that like, yeah. well, yeah, even if they announce it, regardless, it just like, for me, the issue with DLC is like, people can just skimp on so much initial content, even if the game is super fleshed out. And then they're like, Ooh, I came up with a cool idea for something later. Like just put it in the next game. Like, it just feels like you're, you're stringing along that game. And I'm just like, ah, if it's so a good game, it'll hold its own. I, I can agree and disagree at the same time. Like I, for instance, let's look back all the way at, at Diablo two. I really appreciated those expansions. We, we mm. weren't going to see a Diablo three until what, like 15 years later. That's fair for some, you games know what like I'm saying? That, yeah. And so with those expansions, we got more content for that game that I loved. Mm. You know, I think some games can justify doing that. Pokemon, I, I I can see your argument because they do come out with with Pokemon games as you know so often. You know, yeah. every few years we get a new Pokemon game, so I can kind of see where you're coming from there. Yeah. I don't it's think like this is DLC as egregious a a of an issue, especially yeah. because of the the thing that I mentioned. I don't think we're gonna see a third game in in this generation, right? I think I agree, in yeah. I think instead of doing that third game, they're taking the content that would have been that third game and and making it the DLC for the game you already bought and you're not paying another $60 to do it. You're only paying yeah. $20, you know? But what about so. when you buy the game? It's just like, oh, cool. We're going to have a timed release and this feature is just going to become automatically unlocked in like four months. It's a co-op capability to let you guys go to the secret island. Or like maybe you have to do something extraneous in the post game. But to like to hold it and then charge for it, like it, it could easily have just not been in the game and not been dangled for us or like been in the game. I get that it's like another game, but this applies to like every game for me. Yeah. I'm not just like talking about Pokemon here. Yeah. I'm just like, it feels like to string us along. You're like, 
Why didn't I just get all that content? That was a big thing with Breath of the Wild came out with this DLC. I was like, damn, that was already such a big game. And I was just not interested in the DLC when it first came out. I was like, you're really going to like, now I'm just playing all this extra shit. But like, why wasn't it in the original? Like, what the yeah. hell is this about? Yeah. But I again, I, it is way. also an outlet for creators to add more content. Yeah. It's like, what if we want to have more features in the game? And like you're saying with Diablo and stuff like that, features that are not going to be in another game for a really long time. Like it's yeah. one thing for Mario Odyssey to hold back some levels because we're going to see another Mario Odyssey game like or yeah. Mario game like very soon, you know? But like it's yeah. another thing for games that are very infrequent. It can um, be frustrating, yeah. Yeah, to sum things up, I you know, I think that DLC has got some like good and bad features to it. As far as the future is concerned, I don't think DLC is going anywhere anytime soon. I agree. No, it's definitely um, a business model. Yeah. It's and so, model. you know, I'm sure we'll see further evolutions of it, but I think right now it's kind of starting to settle into, you know, a groove of what is acceptable and what's not. And, um, and the only thing that would change that is probably some kind of legislation, like what's, what's been happening with loot boxes, you know? Yeah, so we would just be like, you cannot charge an additional MSRP for one. Like once you buy a title, like, you know, that's what they would have to say. You can't tag along another price tag to any yeah, game. Which probably isn't going to happen. Which doesn't even really so, make sense. Yeah. yeah like legislation wise, yeah. like you're saying. Um, let's wrap it up fun. guys. Uh, let's see here. Next week's uh, subtopic is going to be, can bad art ruin a game or, or like, Oh, an Make otherwise game. good game or we'll talk about that right now right no we're not going to talk about it right now we're going to talk about it next week um also our our current featured game is Chex quest it's a free game you can beat it in about two hours two and a half hours maybe it's really wow. fun it's kind of silly it's very it's got a real tongue-in-cheek uh vibe to it and it's in the style of like old doom games so Make sure you play that. Um, we like let's get that one over with so that we can move on to uh, another featured game. My turn um, to pick. Think yep, it will be your turn, but you don't get to pick until you play this game. What? So, what the fuck. Gotcha. What the rule is that? None of us have ever played the game. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna pick a thousand year door words. I was. Yeah, and I'll play it, but you gotta play this Yay. game first. All right. All right, I'll play checks. And then so. don't forget, guys, uh join the Discord if you haven't already. Um, that's a great place where we can talk about like the feature game and you can share clips from the show that uh Josh is eventually gonna it's, put it's definitely on happening. Instagram. Um <laughs> We'll, we'll we're we're live on that next week. every week uh, at around 9 p.m. Eastern or we're live. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, uh, it's gonna be seven. It's gonna be seven Mountain Time next so, week. Sorry, uh, nine thirty Eastern is. is we can even go early right next week if we want, actually, guys, because I have the whole Sunday off. Okay. Really? We'll we'll discuss that. Yeah, we might go live at, at 8 p.m. Central if if you're able to do that. Um, be nice. Which is what our old time was. We had to adjust for for Josh's 7 schedule. PM even. Um. And then <laughs> the YouTube is this. If you miss the show by any chance, I, I post the the shows up on there. Uh, you can follow us there. Um, I'm Paul. You're on my my Twitch channel. If you're watching this live, Ryugami San, and you can find me on Twitter at Ryugami Sama. Let's um let's raid Casey Nightborn. Cool. Oh, did you yeah. did you guys want to give your socials real quick and then we can? Ah uh, yes, I'm four G's. <laughs> Twitch.tv slash oh, 4G's. Nice. Thin stamp lately. Casey Nightborn. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah. N I G H T B O R N E. Socials. Oh, yeah. It should totally make that a command. Oh, yeah. We need it. I need that command too, Mr. 4G. Yeah. Or one of our <laughs> awesome mods, <clears throat> Kauf yeah, Mandari. Kauf could make that. All right. There we go. We're gonna. Um, we're gonna. Oh yeah, I'm Lord Yeshua, Nightboard. you motherfucker. Lord Yeshua, Lord Yeshua, TTV on all my channels. Bye. All right, guys, stick around. Uh, she does art, right? She does art. She does art. And but scary right now stuff. She's doing mm-hmm. horror stream. Then. Okay, cool. We'll stick around, guys, and we'll we'll see you uh, next week. Love you guys. Goodbye. Bye. 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 And.